Hello and welcome back to Greedfall. This is part 11. We have just arrived to San Mateus last episode and we got um, acquainted with the Inquisitor Aloysius, which spoke volumes. Um, we arrived in the city, they were burning this poor creature alive at the stake and and then we witnessed him like strangling one of the native people to death because he would, wouldn't renounce his gods and... Yeah, so what fun. So we're going to have more fun in the city of San Mateus and um, talking to the ambassador about finding out more about the Malachor, hopefully. And yeah, treading carefully because we've already had a fight with the Inquisitor because we told him we didn't believe in his God because he pissed me off. And I was like, no, I don't believe in your God. And then we had to fight him and he told us that he'd remember us next time. So yeah, we're going to dive right in. Let's go. Yeah, so it looks like we have to go up this way to the governor's palace and then talk to who's in charge and see what we can find out. It's very ominous coming up these big steps. I think that was the vibe they were going for is ominous and imposing and they're achieving it. Look at that view though, look. Wow. I mean, it's a nice view. Pity about the the ambiance. Pity about the Inquisition. Just a little setback. Young lady, pardon me. Are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, Father? Bishop Petrus. How divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young girl. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. Mm, I must first I meet the Mother Cardinal mm -hmm. to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you. And then we can take the road together. Oh, I didn't invite you, dude. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. He's creepy. He's given me creepy vibes. And now he's just invited himself to follow us along. I don't like that. He's definitely just sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. And he clearly knows stuff that he shouldn't know, or like, he obviously is aware of the island before he was supposed to be aware of the island, so. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. Yep. I'm extremely sorry that this visit took a violent turn. Aloysius's faith is sometimes too absolute. Okay. I hope that you have it in you to look beyond it and forgive his zeal. Another subject brings me as well. So maybe she's Analical. more reasonable. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. What a fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. Mm -hmm. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very he confirms. secretive. And we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, 
if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Ugh, ew, I don't want him. No! Do I have to get rid of someone else? Oh no, I don't. I don't have to take him with me yet, do I? Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to remove him. He seems weird. What can he do? Can he do... Oh, he's a magic person. Ooh. Um, I don't really want you, though. But maybe I should take him for a while. Sorry, Vasco. I'm kicking you again. Because I'm kind of curious. I don't really want this guy around, but I kind of am a little curious to know what he's about. So, let's see. Okay, for some reason everything stopped recording there, but we're good to go. So what I was saying is, I mean, this is just so pretty. Can we just, let's just appreciate the scenery for a moment. We don't really have any current objectives in this city at the moment. However, we can just go and quickly have a look around at the points of interest and the other places in the town. I kind of want to see what this new guy, Petrus, is like so we'll just kind of bring him with us for now even though i don't really like him i will just explore a little bit because oh yeah oh my god i totally forgot that i have a house in every town okay we need to go and find have a look at my house i presume it's going to be the exact same as the house in the other place so is this my house Yay! This is my house. Cool. Ooh, there's a letter at the door. What could this be? A letter from the Secretary of the Embassy. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, a group of natives came to the Embassy and asked to see you. As they could not find you, they asked me to give you the location of a forest where they will hope, where they hope you will meet them. I can't read. If I may, they seemed relatively agitated and aggressive, so be careful yours respectively. Well, I hope they're not um, agitated, agitated with me. I'm trying to help them. Okay, let's take this. Yeah, let's... Okay, let's quickly check out our house. Oh, hey, Sura. And... And then we can go off and meet them. Yeah, I see, I'd rather... I don't want to take Petrus with me at all, so let's... We're going to talk to native people. Let me bring Sura with me. Get rid of this guy. I mean, look, Petrus, nobody wants you. Okay, <laughs> nobody wants you. Uh, Sura. Sura and Kurt. It seems to be my favorite combination, Sura and Kurt. But you know, we can't bring everyone, so we gotta pick and choose. Let's sleep until dawn. Because then when we do this quest, it'll be daylight for longer instead of going out going out in the evening and then it going dark. Actually, I wonder if it's even a good idea to have Sura with me walking around this place in case someone attacks her or something. What else is around here? Ooh, it's nice. Outdoor dining area. Looks like a very dark alleyway. Am I going to get jumped? I feel like I'm going to get jumped. There has to be bandits. Barrack Street. There has to be bandits in every city, right? Theologian's ring. Um, oh, that reminds me. I want to give Siora a... I picked up a couple of magic rings last episode. And I want to give Siora one of them she uses magic. Um, oh, wait. I can't, I can't figure out how to equip rings. 
There just seems to be a slot for gloves, but not rings. So I, I'll just leave it, for, leave it for the moment. Went exploring a little bit and then got lost trying to find my way to the exit. So we want to go to meet up with the natives. There's a crowd of people here. What are y'all looking at? People around here are very strange. <laughs> this looks like we're on the right track, I'd say. Yeah. Up here. I just feel like if I brought Petrus with me, it would have been a terrible idea. <gasps> a deer! Oh, he's so pretty. He's just walking in circles, though. <laughs> um, are you alright? Did someone whack you on the head? Are you okay? Oh, Jesus! Why did he have to make such a scary noise? Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Might as well collect all the mushrooms and stuff while we're here. And then we can... Or what's that? Pine resin. Collecting stuff that we can craft ammo with. Oh, baddies. Oh, wait, what's this? Old logging expedition. Do we have to go up this way? Okay, okay. All right, these are weird, spiny iguanas of some sort. They seem different to the roly-poly ones that we found last time. But anyway, I think, am I going? Oh yeah, this is the right way, okay. Anyway, I imagine if that's the sort of way they're treating the natives uh, around here that no wonder there's an angry tribe looking for looking for me for some reason. Um, I guess, I don't know if they know I can help or... Oh no, did I go around in a circle? <gasps> that fucking deer scared the fucking shit out of me again. Ah, follow the deer. Follow the deer. Do you think the deer wants me to follow it? I think I went this way. <gasps> there it is again. Oh, I think the deer wants me to follow it. Are you one of the tribe people? Are you a shapeshifter? Are you a... Hey! Where'd you go? He just disappeared. Okay, I, I see them up there, but I just want to see what's in this corner. Anything in this corner? No, okay. Uh, that was strange. Here they are. Do you head? Where? Please. I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait! I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy. 
But I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. Or was there a corpse? We were told I didn't that even there see. was a woman different from the other Renaixe amongst the Lugaid Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I'm in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. A diplomat is someone who talks, right? Not someone who fights. I can do both. I know how to fend for myself, if that's your question. But will you tell me why you made me come here? Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? Conversion to camp? To confuse their minds. Yeah. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the sun. This Classic. red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers, so I killed him. Fair enough. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors continue. Yeah. But because you killed them, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him, and also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free, but the Renaixe do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of captives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do okay. the words say where the camp is located? Probably no, not. But the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it. Or the suns will keep burning our people. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry. Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. Okay, go to the woods of Samotheus. Okay, search the house of Inquisitor Claudius. Oh, there's the body. See, I didn't even see that body. <laughs> yeah. You know, fair enough. Like... I'm completely on their side. We'll wait for you here. We need to know where they are taking our brothers. I wouldn't mind fucking up the Inquisitors. Well, like, okay, can someone please explain to me the weird deer that I followed here? Oh my god, he's here again! Jesus Christ! <laughs> and then he just disappears. Like, what is going on? I don't know if that's, like, the game being glitchy or if it's, like... Magic animal shape shifting magic, or is that just a glitch? <laughs> Keeps scaring the crap out of me anyway. Hey, look, all the people are moving. They were just standing there, all walking into that wall together, and now they're all walking off this way. You're brainwashed, okay? You've all been brainwashed to walk into walls and follow each other. You're brainwashed. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Snap out of it, please. Okay, all right, that's enough messing. Where are they going, though? It's so weird. Okay. Eden Town Square. Okay, here's the house. Lock. Oops. Lock picking. Hang on. I pressed the wrong button. Use key. If other sons come here, they'll burn me. If other sons come here, they'll burn you. Letter found at the home of Father Claudius. Claudius, I wanted to congratulate you for your work and your unwavering commitment to our conversion camp project. Thanks to you and your devotion, we were able to bring many savages towards the light. Yeah, and you just killed the rest of them. You will find some new elements and orders regarding the continuation of our operations in your chest at our headquarters. May the Enlightened protect you, Inquisitor Honorius. 
This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had. In the quarters of the Order, here in San Mateus. We may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. If this chest exists, there must be a key. It has to be here. Let's continue searching. Okay, so we've got Inquisitor Honorius writing to Father Claudius. So Father Claudius is dead because we found the letter and key on his corpse. So Inquisitor Honorius seems to be in charge. Um, ooh, found another key. key. Most likely the key to a chest with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Okay, so we need to go find this chest in a different building. <gasps> Am I in trouble? Um, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just gonna fuck. Hey, you. Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? My status uh -oh. is the reason why the Mother Cardinal asked me to investigate. She wants to know where Father Claudius might have disappeared to. I offered to go to his home to see if I could find some information. Hence why I'm here. Good cover. Really? Well... I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? Good question. How would we know? Perhaps you'd like us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on her. As you Phew. wish. I hope I don't see you again, Father. Wow. I doubt this sly, bitter man believed your lies. We'll probably see him again. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. Wow. Let's hope okay. they aren't infested with members of the Inquisition. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're treading on thin ice here. They don't like us. So we need to head... this way. This actually would be quite a nice town square if it wasn't called the Place of Punishment. Over here? Okay. Um... I wonder if they're gonna let me just walk in here though. Probably not. Do I have to sneak around? Maybe I should be sneaking. Let's sneak. Look at all the candles. Okay. We'll sneak, but I don't know how sneaking is going to work. It might be terrible. All right, there's nobody around so far. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. I don't want to get caught. Okay, okay, there's nobody in here. That's that's a relief. Nobody in here, we can just snoop around. Looking for a chest of some sort. Hmm. 
I wonder if those tools are for wood crafting and furniture making, do you think? Uh, definitely not. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Wait, no. Uh, I don't like this room. Oh, there's another room over there. Or maybe there's another downstairs. Oh, here we go. There we go. Letter. Claudius, we hope that we can count on you to accept a new delivery of native heretics in our camp. We would also like you to be in charge of the conversions of the most refractory native subjects. I recommend you to follow the most discreet path possible in order to meet us. The path that goes between the rocks to the east of the city and leads to the, the secluded glade where we built the camp, as it is imperative that our operations remain secret for now. May the enlightened protect you. So, like... Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. The Ordo Luminous is fearsome in a fight. If the natives attack the camp, they risk being slaughtered. But given the methods of the Inquisitors, I almost want to give them a hand. Yeah, I do. Karantz, do you need something? I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. How are you feeling? Unwell? I am angry. And I feel an immense void within me. I blame myself for not having been on this battlefield with her. You have no responsibility in anything that happened to her. There's no point in blaming yourself. And yet I do. You asked me how I felt and I gave you an answer. Anything else? Oh shit, we lost minus two reputation. Eek. Do you have anyone, a friend perhaps, whom you could talk to in this trying time? I usually confide in my sister, but she's suffering too. And I think she resents me for not having been there when our mother needed me. I know we've only known each other for a little while. But if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. Thank you, Anal Manawi. You are a good person. And I'm glad that you are my friend. Anything else? I've never heard you talk about your father. Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. He died many cycles ago, but... This memory is still painful, so we usually avoid the subject. What happened to him? He was killed as he tried to escape the lions who wanted to capture him. My mother never really recovered from it. This is one of the reasons why she decided to go to war. Anything mm. else? I must leave you. See you later. Yeah. That's... Good to know. I've been kind of forgetting to like talk to the companions. Uh, so I've been kind of thinking about talking to them a little bit more and just finding out their opinions on things. As we go, I'll try and be better about that. Okay, so we need to go. Do, 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 do. Alright, so we're heading back up to where we saw the creepy deer. The stag. Down this way. Oh my god. <laughs> he keeps scaring me every time I see him. Okay, so we need to go and tell them where the camp is. But Kurt is right. Like... They could all die if they attack it, so. So, 
I don't know what we're going to do. I, I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? I don't want to betray You're not the ones this so-called legged betrayed. We are. You? I have no commitment to your order. It is with Teleme that we are allied. Where did your you come from? That you are prepared to drag into a war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting a few of them in your torture camp, even if you have to kill all the others. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. Okay. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce Oh, us. I'm going to kill you right the now. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics when she should be following her faith instead. Oh, dear. We will fight these monsters by your side, Onol Menawi. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, let's... Okay, who else is around? Okay, who else is left? This guy? Any more? Just this one person? Is that everyone? Thank you. Yikes. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. Even though the Ordo Luminous's actions are atrocious, Teleme must not learn of our involvement in this matter. Our alliance could suffer. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. I hope this will help our relations in the future. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, I'd please give her that. my regards. Bertir to mad on all Minawi. And thanks again. Yeah. I'd happily help them take out that camp. Oh, boy. So it seems like these fanatics are operating kind of under the radar of the cardinal, cardinal mother. So he just said like, oh, she's too political. She should focus on her faith. So she seemed and she seemed more reasonable when we met her. Like, so it does seem like these are kind of a bit of a renegade group almost that they're doing this well on the one hand they're doing this without her knowing supposedly but on the other hand they're publicly fucking strangling and torturing people in the middle of the town square like so like she obviously does know about this stuff but maybe she didn't know about this secret conversion camp anyway it's all very fucked up this place this whole City just gives me the heebie jeebies. Okay? It gives me the heebie jeebies, and I just don't want to be here. And there's just one part on the map up here that I might go explore and see what's up there. Ooh, mushrooms. We need those. Kurt, what do you think about all of this? Green blood, my friend. Do you Kurt, need something? My friend. Oh yeah, we never asked him about Rainer. You seemed really attached to Rainer. He brought some memories back. I was a bit like him at his age, and I felt responsible for his well-being. After all, I recruited him. Why? Don't tell me you're jealous of this poor kid. Jealous? Oh, tell him that you wondered whether there had been something more between them. Oh. Ask him if he ever thought about having children. Okay. Tell him that it was that it was so that you could understand him better understand it better don't be foolish 
It's just that you seemed so hurt about everything he went through. I wanted to understand how you felt. That's kind. I'm sorry I made that stupid comment. This whole matter makes me nervous. I should have known that you were far too subtle to feel like that. Anything else? Okay. Maybe he has pleasant memories of his childhood. You told me that you enlisted at a very young age. But do you have any pleasant memories of your childhood? Some, yes. Why? What kind of memories were you thinking about? <laughs> Asking about his first love. We're very interested in his uh, love life entry. Happy moment. Tell me about a happy memory of yours. A memory that makes you smile. I have a few sweet, but blurry memories of my wet nurse. I remember her smell of crushed flowers and herbs. But when I try to remember something happy, it's the memory of a later event that stood. The memory of a day when we skip training to go for a swim in the river. Gotta love Siora just standing in the background like a in third spring, wheel. <laughs> waded for a good part of the afternoon into a marvellous little cold stream, running over a bed of round pebbles. <laughs> Isn't it odd that that appears to be my happiest memory? No. It was a moment of freedom. You were carefree. I guess that's why you remember it. You're right. Since that day, there hasn't been much room in my life for being carefree. Anything else? Mm. Mm, I must leave you. He's so sweet. All right, come on, guys. I see you. What are they doing? Just standing around? Where's the other one? That's everyone. Okay. Ooh. This could be good for Kurt, maybe. Oh yeah, this should be better than what he has, I think. Yeah. Although this one has elemental and magic resistance. This one doesn't, just has more armor. That's okay, okay. Let's put that one on him. It's on for quite a while. I'm just curious. Oh, nice. Okay, there's a campsite here, so I can put loads of my stuff in to a chest. All right, set up camp. Is this the secret camp? Maybe. Kind of just been exploring, but I feel like maybe this is the the way to the secret camp. Are they gonna be angry at me? Hello. Secluded glade. Oh yeah, this is the secret camp. We don't necessarily need to go in though, do we? Because I'm just being nosy, really. Okay, I can't go in anyway. Good to know. Good to know. So I think for now, anyway, we can travel. And we still need to go all the way to the bridge lines and ask about the Malincor. Can I switch companions? Okay, um... I want to leave Sierra behind. 
And I'm going to bring Basco, I think, or should I bring this new? I don't. I don't want to bring this new person. I don't want to bring Petrus. But maybe we should give him a chance. We'll give him a chance, okay? I will travel back to here. Um, oh yeah, so I just sold a bunch of stuff to the merchant. I just realized that I haven't leveled up since uh, the last time I actually leveled up to level 11. So I have one skill point to spend. And, or I could save up and get two and then put it into roll, which could be could be good actually. And a little, 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 or I can make my traps better, increase the damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Hikmet. Travel to Hikmet. And see what the Bridge Alliance people have to say about themselves. Actually, should I even be bringing, I just realized I'm bringing the, um, Tuleme guy with me, which is maybe a bad idea. That's probably a bad idea, right? Because he's a Tuleme. Oh no, okay. Shit, maybe I should change. Ah, damn. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to make much of a difference. I wonder if people are going to be pissed off now because I'm traveling with a Tuleme person. Ooh. It's probably not good. Halt! What's your destination, milady? Here we go. Just into town. I'm an emissary of the congregation and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then, good travels, milady. Okay, so so far so good. They don't seem to care that Petrus is with us. Okay. There it is. The music always makes everything feel so ominous. Region of Hikmet. Ooh. It looks massive as well. I love the windmill on the hill. Very nice. Oh, and there's a camp area. Okay, we can set up camp here. Alright, I think I'm going to end it there. Uh, so next episode we'll pick up our arriving into Hikmet, the city, and seeing who the M ambassador for the Bridge Alliance is, talk to them, to them about the Malachor and um, yeah, see what they have to say, see what's going on there. The first impressions of the San Mateus were not good and I'm, I have low expectations coming into Hikmet. I feel like it's there's going to be something probably terrible going on here as well. Um, and anyways, and we're bringing Petrus with us, a new companion who is a um, Teleme person. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see if people react to us differently in the Bridge Line city because he's with us. Um, so far they haven't, um, but we'll see if he has anything interesting to chime into the conversations that will be happening next time. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we were able to help the natives. I'm glad that we were able to kill some of the Inquisitors because... To be honest, fuck those guys. I'll happily kill all, all of the torturers and inquisitors uh, from now on. Uh, it's, so it's kind of a secret at the moment that we're helping them. But that secret's not going to stay secret for long. 
Uh, so I'm sure shit is going to hit the fan soon. Very soon. But anyway, next time we'll get into Hikmet. We'll find out what's going there, going on there and um, see what else we have to do. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.